These are some common Mingqing official style architecture, which are similar yet different from each other. Some use grey tiles, but others use green glazed tiles. Some have no partition inside, while others have partitions. These characteristics can be overwhelming, but what's the fundamental information that's worth our attention? This is the topic of our first episode, which is called Foundations of Tower Buildings. To begin with, let's observe this building. It is easy to see that it can be clearly divided into three parts. The lower base made of brick and stones, the middle section composed of tall wooden structure, and the upper part covered with the roof tiles. These three parts are stacked on top of each other to form the entire building we see. In the basics chapter, our main focus will be on the composition, specific sizes, dimensions, and the ornamentation of these three parts. Firstly, the structure directly supporting the roof tiles is composed of chuanzi, which is somehow similar to what's called rafter, and wangban, which is a layer of wooden planks nailed on the top of chuanzi. At this point, our understanding of the roof is sufficient, so let's study the wooden structure beneath it. The entire wooden structure is formed by the interweaving of horizontal and vertical wooden components, creating a dazzling yet orderly part. The wooden components can be divided into two categories based on their orientation in the plan wheel, those parallel to the width of the building and those perpendicular to it. It is not difficult to observe that the components parallel to the width are always supported by the ones perpendicular to it. Regarding the components perpendicular to the width, it is easy to notice that they form repetitive structures. Each repeated unit is referred to as a slice of structure frame. The space between two frames is called a jian. Therefore, the length of the front facade of a building is commonly expressed using the unit of jian. In this case, the length of the front facade of the building is 5 jian. So, can you figure out how many jian does this building have? Feel free to leave your answer in the comments. In a simple structure, each frame of the wooden structure is identical, so we only need to focus on one frame. Some of the columns in the Mingqing official style architectures are grounded, while others are not grounded. And the beams, which in this case is represented by arc material, always place its front end horizontally on the top of the columns, and the rear end of the beam is inserted into column if encountered. The section of the beam on top of the column is called the beam head and the end that is inserted into another column is called the beam tail. The lin, represented here by dark prismarine material, is placed on top of the beam. Therefore, the upper structure of all the columns in the building follows the pattern of column head, beam head, lin. This is known as the Tailiang structure schema. These are some simple structure frames. Can you identify the structures mentioned earlier? The concepts mentioned above are the most basic ones, and it is sufficient for you to have a general understanding of them. In the following episodes, we will provide more detailed explanations by combining them with practical demonstrations that lead you deeper in and show you how to construct it in Minecraft. If you join our tutorials, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. It will greatly support us. 
the models featured in the video are hosted on our servers, and their schematic files are publicly archived for research and analysis. You can also refer to our Dictionary of Standard Definitions for Mingqing Official Architectures to understand the standard definitions of related terms, or join our Discord server for further discussions. And we look forward to our next encounter.